What's up guys, it's Recipe Thursday and today we are making a low carb spaghetti squash casserole. I can't wait, it looks delicious and it's something I totally wanna to serve up to my friends. I like making dinner for people so casseroles are the way to go. Let's make it and see how it tastes. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees and cut a large spaghetti squash in half lengthwise. And then we're gonna scoop out the seeds. Now we're gonna drizzle the spaghetti squash with some olive oil, and we're going to salt it. Next, we're gonna place it on a baking sheet like this, and we're gonna bake it in the oven at 400 degrees for 60 minutes. While that's cooking in the oven, we're gonna brown one pound of ground beef or meat. I'm using bison. Drain the liquid and then we're gonna add 24 ounces of marinara to the pan. Now cook for five minutes on low heat. Now using a fork, we're going to scrape the spaghetti out of the spaghetti squash. Now in a small bowl, we're going to add the following ingredients. Two cups of shredded mozzarella, eight ounces of cream cheese, and one tablespoon of chopped parsley. Now we're just gonna mix that together till it is combined. Now we're gonna preheat the oven to 350. Next, we're gonna get a baking dish and we're going to add half of the spaghetti squash. And we're going to top that with half of the meat mixture. Then we're going to add half of the cheese mixture. Spread that out. And now we're going to repeat those steps again. So the rest of the spaghetti squash, the rest of the meat mixture, and the rest of the cheese mixture. All right, now it's going back in the oven for 20 minutes. All right, we just took it out. Now you can top yours with a little more uh, mozzarella, uh, shredded mozzarella cheese if you'd like. I did not, but let's take it out and taste it now. All right guys, looks good, smells good. Reminds me of my Mimi the way it smells. Let's taste it. Yum! That was really good. It actually tasted like lasagna. Um, so good. I think my Mimi would be proud. Super tasty. I definitely recommend it. Alright, you have eight net carbs per serving. It makes six servings and it's totally worth it, especially if you're having guests over. Alright, that's it for this week's Recipe Thursday. I'll be back here again next week for another Recipe Thursday. Now remember, you get to vote over on my Facebook page which recipe I'm gonna make. I post that on Mondays, so make sure to follow me there. It's in the description below. If you know somebody that's doing low carb or keto in the new year and they you think they would like this recipe, get it in their hand, share it with them. And don't forget to hit subscribe because I'm coming back here every week with another recipe, sometimes throughout the week with some other fun stuff. All right guys, till next time, peace.